Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, you ever feel like you just made a mistake? Like you just made a mistake. And for some reason, that's how I'm kind of feeling myself here. Went to the uh, card store for a real quick story. Went to the baseball card shop. I was gonna buy the new 2023 Prisms. Like I think it's a hobby box where you get guaranteed like three autographs. I know they're weird cards and everything else. I go there and they're like, nah, we don't get that. It's unlicensed, you know, blah, blah. So I was just like, okay, no big deal. So I was planning on spending, it's about $150 per box. I was going to get two boxes. So I was going to get something. Well, what do you got that's new? Do you have any really old cards? I like cards from the 80s. And, you know, no, nah, we don't, you know, don't have any left. I, I bought whatever they had, basically. Um, then he showed, well, we got these. And we put these on this, you know, display recently. They only had a couple of packs of each. I bought... Uh, 2018 update and 2018 series 2 and also a 2019 series 2 now these packs are just crazy expensive I paid about 150 bucks in total which to me after I left I mean like these are all base cards even if I get one of the good rookies right and, and you know whoever all the big name players they have rookie possibilities that's fine but I mean like I don't know. How much are they worth? If I pull an Otani, I think there's an Otani rookie in one of these, possibly. Ow, five bucks, if that, for just a base. So you're hoping to hit like one of the parallels, I guess, and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's really a lottery ticket. I don't know. As I'm sitting here making this video, there's not a shot in the world you're going to make your money back, as far as I can tell. Now, there's a small, small, small chance that you could hit something big. Okay, that's fine. But, I don't know. I, I gotta admit, I have a little bit of a buyer's remorse when it comes to this. Uh, but, we'll open up, see what we got. I'm not 100% sure who you can get in each card, each pack. Like, I, I know, I don't know, we'll see. I guess I'll figure it out as we open it up. But, I'm telling you, I don't know if I'll be doing this again. It's uh, one of those things. One of those things, just not quite sure. If it was worth uh, the money, if I wasn't better off waiting and getting, you know, I, I could have bought a, a box of 87 tops and a box of 86 tops and maybe something else, like, for the price of what amounts to basically three packs. So anyway, that's it. I'll stop complaining from here. Uh, 2019 Series 2. Uh, I don't remember exactly who's in it, and I don't think it's the best one because this pack they had uh, on sale for uh, $25. So, maybe not the biggest, baddest one in the world, but we'll see. Uh, beautiful cards. I know everyone's seen these a million times. I actually haven't opened up a ton of these. I wasn't really buying cards then. I bought maybe just a little teeny, teeny bit, but not a whole lot. But, you know, nice design. I like the borderless angles. Good action cards. Um, you know, would I be... Victor Robles. I like the Future Stars, the new design for that. I like that enough. Texas. They're having a pretty good year. Well, they had a rough... Texas had a rough uh, game recently. The last inning or something, like, there were just multiple errors, and they had a little bit of a hard time. San Francisco. Town seems like it's being destroyed. Michael Waka. I like that name, Waka. I guess that's the Muppet thing, right? Greatest Players. That's just a regular insert, I believe. Uh, Fernando Rodney, Trevor, J.D. Davis, well, Mr. George, it's a cool looking card, but I can't say I really know you. I mean, you know, again, I'm not going to talk about buyer's remorse for the entire video, but I might mention it again here, because I'm flipping through this pack, and man... Albert Pujols when you're still playing. It's weird to think Albert Pujols is retired, right? 91 war. Towards the end there, it kind of tailed off a little bit, but hey, I guess we all do. Lots of home runs. Nice looking card. John Hicks. Mr. Lopez. Ryan Braun. This guy cheated. I always felt bad for that. I mean, I don't know why I felt bad, but like, you know, you don't want people to I don't want people to cheat. Uh, I'm not a Red Sox fan, but that is a cool looking card. I gotta admit. That's a nice looking card. Cody Bellinger. I think there's a small chance the Yankees might trade for him by the deadline. Franchise feats. 
Okay, well, so again, if you're going to say that this pack cost average to about 25 bucks, I think I got bubkis. And I knew it. And I, the, the, the funny part is, too, I've been on such a hot run with opening, like, individual packs on the YouTube, like the uh, the shorts that they let you put up. I pulled McGuire rookies. I get Nolan Ryans. Like, I've been doing really good. Like, it's just, you know, I'm really happy with what you're pulling. And I just had a bad feeling about this. So we'll see. 2018, should I do update first or series two? Well, I guess we're going to say update because that's what I got in my hand. Um, again, I know there's a lot of big name players that could be in here. I'm not 100% sure who. So it's just going to be a little bit of a surprise if I pull one of them. That's great. This pack, though, they were advertising, I believe, for 75 bucks. I looked on eBay and it was selling for, you know, 69 bucks. So it's not like they were totally out of whack with the price. But, man, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Gleyber Torres, rookie. All right, well, now I know these things aren't worth anything, but I like it. I'm a Yankee fan. That's a rookie card. I'd put that to the side, at least. So I got a little something. Chipman. This is the update one? Yeah, I don't. Buy, I really don't buy a lot of update packs. So I like the, the all-star stuff and uh, game for everyone. Oh, now, everyone knows what I usually do to Altuve cards, but Aaron Judge is in this too. So that's a little kick in the pants there, right? I'm still going to have to put this card upside down, even though... Oh, look, a Shohei Otani, so that's nice. I'm going to put that card upside down because, uh, you know, it's Altuve, even though Judge is on it. So you know what I'm going to do? Because Judge is on there too, I'm just going to put it sideways. But then that looks like they're kind of doing something funky. So you know what? I'm just going to put this right back. Nah, I don't know what I'm going to do. That, that, that card I'm going to have to decide about. I just don't know. Um, Otani, pitching, rookie. But again, just like a base card. So that's great. And it's probably one of the better cards, like the better names you could pull. But what's that card worth? That card's worth a buck or two, right? I mean, it's not like it's... Uh, that card can't be selling for a significant amount. It's a base card. There's a million of them printed. Matt Duffy. But at least, hey, I got Gleyber Torres, Otani, and Judge... For, for the cards that I'd want to get, I can't complain too much. It's pretty cool. Luis Severino. I like that card. Not a rookie. Otherwise, I'd put it to the side. Rookie debut. Nice looking cards. Again, really like more like plain, no borders or anything else. Sometimes I like borders. Sometimes I don't. John Carlo, this guy. I should put him with Altuve. He just never plays. He's always hurt, or he takes forever to get going. Carlos Correa. I'm just going to put him to the side. I'm not going to say anything. Chipper Jones. I feel like I get a lot of Chipper Jones for some reason. Alright, so Juan Soto. This, I, I still believe he is one of the most overrated players out there. You know, I mean, like, he has not put up the home runs like Otani... He's a good fielder, I mean a good hitter, but look at the back of his baseball cards. What has he done that's so outstanding? I don't get it. Why people go so crazy over him. I, I mean, maybe there's metrics and stuff like that that I'm just missing, that I'm not hip to, that show him to be a step above, but I don't know. Just don't get it. Aaron Judge. I'm going to put this card right here, just kind of cover up Altuve a little bit. Well, so, that first pack we opened wasn't impressive. This pack, I mean, a Juan Soto rookie, a Shoei Atani rookie, a Gleyber Torres rookie, and then two Aaron Judge cards for base stuff, eh, that's pretty much as good as I'm going to get, I think, right? I mean, what more can I ask for? Now, a parallel of some sort, a signature, or I don't know, what, what's worth these, I just don't get it. But we'll see. 2018 Series 2. Again, this pack cost... It was listed for just as much as the other pack. They were listing it for 75 bucks. Um, let's see. I mean, at a value in that pack I just opened, I'm guessing the Otani and Soto, I mean, they'd be in the dollar bins, right? They're, they're base cards. There's a gazillion of them printed. They can't be worth anything. A buck or two, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. But I might even look a couple up on eBay and just see if I'm, I'm way off on it. Uh, Mitch. 
see if we can get which pack is gonna be better. I, I I'm guessing that's gonna be the winning pack. Joe Panic. I always had him in my uh, fantasy teams and whatnot. He kind of fizzled out, but uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, he had one year a war of four. I mean, that's not terrible, is it? But never, yeah, never, yeah, never really, never really panned out. Middle infielders. Oh, look at this. Korea, Korea, and Altuve. That's not good. This card has such a big ding on the corner of it, right? How'd that happen? Oh, look at the ding. Tops quality control. Gotta be careful of that. I'm gonna put this upside down. I'll put it right here for now. It might be the best card I pull out of the pack. <laughs> the way it's going. That's what I deserve. Uh, so there's a Stanton and Judge. Two big dudes. I'll put it to the side again because I usually just kind of collect some uh, Aaron Judge stuff. Can I get one, like, weird card or one, like, you know, I don't know, parallel or something? Unless I'm missing them, which is, like, not totally impossible. There's an Aaron Judge. I think it's supposed to be an Aaron Judge in every pack. One of these things, Frozen. Okay, again... Not numbered, I'm sure it's, you know, but... Ricky Henderson, it's a nice looking card. Again, not exactly numbered or anything, but I'll put it to the side because it's Ricky Henderson. Another Aaron Judge, so I feel like I'm getting a little overloaded here with Aaron Judge cards, which I know is funny to say, but... And another <laughs> Aaron Judge card, so they advertised Aaron Judge and they weren't kidding. But again, all these cards... They're just like, you know, nice, nice base things. Which I don't mean to be a complaint, but I don't know what I was thinking, man. Think about what you could have done with 150 bucks. What kind of packs you would have bought. Would you have bought these three packs I bought? No, I don't think you would. And you'd be smart. Paul Goldschmidt. How come you never hear about him? He's such a great player. I mean, I know, you know, he's, he's won plenty of uh, Jacob deGrom, Seth Lugo... All right, well, so, I mean, that's it for that. So that middle pack was obviously the winner. Um, you know, Juan Soto, Otani, Torres, a couple of uh, a couple Iron Judge cards. This is one of those things where I took one for the team. I, I just I just don't get it. Maybe if somebody could tell me, like, Whoa, why these packs were worth something. I, I just, I could have bought one box of the Prism and gotten three autographs. Now I know most autographs are only worth a buck to it, you know, for what they're worth, but still, like, I just think that would have been the better value. Maybe there could have been big hits here. I don't know. If you want to tell me this Soto or Tani's worth more than a buck, I'm probably going to look it up, and if it is, I'll put it down in the video, but it ain't. I'm just telling you. I just, I just seriously doubt it. So, thanks for watching. I had fun opening it. Took one for the team here. I don't think I'm going to be doing this again like that because I just don't, just don't get it. Anyway, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Go Yankees.